Hi, I'm Jai, welcome to my channel. This is gonna be a reading for Sagittarius, all aspects and all the cross watcher from the 1st to the 15th of October, 2021. Remember, this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you feel like this is not for you, check other aspects of your chart and or other videos. Could well be that they are more in line with what's happening for you. If you'd like a personalized reading, information is in the description box below and i'm also offering healing and psychic development if you're unsure have questions please let me know psychic yahoo sorry jale psychic at yahoo.com right sagittarius says please sagittarius energy between the first they're saying let them know okay so pluto is coming out of retrograde on the six and we've got saturn coming out of retrograde on the 10th okay so what is happening here please what is happening here please for the Sagittarius is. Okay. This is interesting. Someone has a fear of a union. Someone wants to, uh, it's like a fear of commitment. There's a, it, but it's a fear of intimacy in terms of opening up and being vulnerable and I think it's because of a fear of, of the self and connecting with the self. And so to connect with another is also limited. Yeah, this, so again, someone can see things with very fresh eyes, but it, again, it's keeping them in this eternal child energy. So maybe, let me just see, what else for the Sagittarius, please? Okay, confronts empowerment at the level of physical survival, awakens the spiritual authority of humility, compassion and self-esteem. So something is going to trigger or has been needing to be looked at, right? And maybe someone's defaulted into a childlike energy or state because that is overwhelming for them. So again, it could be their empowerment um, based on physical survival. So maybe their survival um, is in question or on the physical level, there's a, a change around their physical kind of stability and it's triggering a response of avoidance and or not connecting with the truth not really dealing with it so there's some kind of shift here that's asking for the, the again around the beginning of the month which is asking you to level up and be a warrior through this strength skill discipline toughness of will heroism stoicism and self-sacrificing conquering the ego so this is about not listening to the ego when some information is coming out that is gonna hurt or upset to bypass that and still maneuver around it where you're still dealing with the problem but it's not over it's not overwhelming you okay so that's the focus here apparently um what else here for the Sagittarius is first to 15th of October what is going on for the Sagittarius is please First to the 15th. You've got a new start coming, okay? And you've got prosperity lies ahead. And show the world the real you. And your hard work is paying off. So it could be that this is your last kind of chapter here where there is a few more tests that is going to challenge you a little bit. And you may want to drop into a, an energy where it's, again almost like an avoidance um just make sure that you're you're looking into that because again it will move you forward a lot quicker right <clears throat> what else please spirit for the sagittarius what is going on here for the sagittarius the first to the 15th please okay so right so we've got some kind of process here that is building up step by step they're asking again progress they're asking you to rather than focus on why this isn't evolving they're asking you to reflect on what you're able to be in, in responsible for um there's an imbalance here in you which is possibly reflecting in a union so if you're not being open and honest about how you're really feeling about something and and, and confronting your in empowerment in terms of physical survival it could be reflecting in a in a a mirrored soul relationship or twin flame someone's trying to hold it together to pretend everything's okay hmm 
this is about the subconscious and a rebirth something or an attribute or quality that you had is about to be shifted in a way again some, there's an event that's going to happen in the first couple of weeks of october that is going to shift you out of that normal response and it could be a pattern of behavior that again usually if someone's avoidant but it creates it's a catalyst it's a heart awakening it's a, a, a transformation so whereas maybe someone was avoidant this is now gonna if maybe you're dealing with it this time your shadow again connection may then also be able to deal with it if this is about a purge yeah someone is purging a situation restoring harmony here what else is happening for sagittarius this is karma something's been set in motion here and whatever this quality is it's being finely tuned ready for another stage so maybe you were never comfortable um taking responsibility for things or not knowing how to navigate um it's like maybe you had been a bit too serious possibly maybe you were in warrior mode don't forget the south node is in Sagittarius so you could have had a bit of a rough ride maybe you could have lost that childlike essence and spirit are asking you to recapture that to get through this next couple of weeks because there's something a karmic cycle closing there could be a sudden tension pressure something being set in motion here that is going to require a response where you're connected to yourself in terms of your truth that is going to help you through this and again it's possibly designed to shake your physical kind of security um let's see what else what are we missing again someone's stressing or anxiety there's a lot of anxiety here um it could be the fact that you you're very independent and it's like you're used to relying on yourself but where you've forged ahead and just being very pinpoint focus it's like spirit are now asking you to kind of maybe wind that down a little bit and reconnect so that you're not so disconnected um but this i mean whatever it is you guys have been put through a lot and it's like again it's that kind of purification process that you're going through but it's it what's going on here is i feel like they're asking you to combine all these these elements that you've learned here over the last maybe seven months that is about to be integrated and balanced into you so rather than maybe maybe at one point you were you didn't take responsibility and you're more childlike and then one point there was a fear of intimacy or union with the self and then another point you were this warrior energy and then another point there was a fear of physical kind of um security it's asking you maybe you've overcome certain elements of those things it's asking you to integrate that into your daily life now or it will be you will be given the opportunity to do that over the next couple of weeks Sagittarius energy please I'm hearing reboot and upgrade Sagittarius energy please yeah this is about your peace your inner peace inner tranquility um this is helping your heart to heal in a way that is realistic R rather than being avoidant rather than being too too carefree rather than being too dynamic and too disconnected maybe or too kind of future orientated it's like there are, there's a recalibration happening right sagittarius energy please the first part of october 1st to 15th so this is about your an insecurity that's being finely tuned and having the ability to disconnecting from to disconnect from an outcome and to impartially view it from a different perspective especially if it shakes a, a security that or an insecurity um again it's asking for acceptance here so there could be something coming in that, to test you a little bit here and your security levels because again that needs to be closed out before the next stage possibly what is happening for the Sagittarius please yeah this is again I'm gonna be honest with you I feel like 
something that you usually maybe deal with in private could be brought to light or maybe someone could be discussing something that you're not used to dealing with and it's going to cause you to again create an insecurity maybe and it, again how you deal with that and navigate it is going to be super important um again it's to do with like status and public public present presentation independence what is this about spirit what is going to happen here for saggies it's like someone's testing you to see your resolve okay and maybe they don't quite understand you here and so there's a little test coming up to see how you deal with this because someone doesn't quite understand you possibly where's the cards i've given you here spirit what is this for the sagittarius is here what is publicity what is publicity here challenge the status quo okay i'm gonna be on so someone is gonna test you and it's gonna be something you're very passionate about it's going to be something you're very passionate about where maybe you're not used to defending yourself on. Maybe the obvious choices that you're usually defending yourself on, maybe you're not going to need to do that. But it's going to be something that Spirit are going to test you with a little bit here to see how dedicated you are to your, I don't know, your sticking points, your, your, your kind of viewpoints here. What is insecurity? Yes. Okay. Someone is going to come through wanting to create some kind of imbalance and again to prove a point maybe there's someone that wants to see how you're going to respond um whatever it is though it's like wh how you respond is going to dictate what the next steps are and again this is about boundaries this is about following rules again holding it together so especially if you're someone that tries to people please or avoids conflict or usually keeps that childlike eternal kind of spirit there um, or maybe that you're kind of you don't usually tend to look in terms of like how these kind of things don't usually happen. Um, this is now helping you confront some kind of limited energy here. This is to test your purpose, especially if there is a fear of like this intimacy here with the self. It's about your faith. This is going to test your faith. Again, especially if you're you're not as sociable as you what you have been or something. What is this about? There's something that's going to come in. What is this spirit? You could also be jumping into a situation where you, you didn't look before you leap and you're taking a lot more on. And rather than admitting that you're just going through the motions here and but you're you had to agree with it because you wanted again your security depended on it. There's going to be a test here to see how you're handling that, especially if you're overloaded, especially if you feel underconfident to be honest about how you're really feeling. Just make sure you're not overburdening yourself and not you know just just be careful what kind of things you're agreeing to. There's some kind of truth. What is this for the Sagittarius, please? What is this for the Sagittarius, please? This is like your shadow element. This is like a shadow element that's being 
triggered or pinpointed deliberately to move you move you on to another stage is how i want to say it but i feel like i'm not getting to the bottom of what, what is really going on here so let me if we pull from these cards spirit can you show me a bit more about the sagittarius reading first to 15th what exactly is this i'm confused it's to balance you out to see okay so basically what they're saying is you're being prepared for a, a longer distance scenario it's to do with your ambitions okay if it's a long-term ambition you've got it's like they're, they're testing you to see well are you ready to go to the next stage because you have to be balanced as you're moving into this you ha again and if you're being tested and you're getting triggered at the first hurdle it the next part won't be able to come very easily so let's see what else here can we figure out yeah it's like they're te you're you're not going to be prepared for this whatever it is you're not ready for this and that's why someone a test is coming in it's like there's an element that you're not usually tested on or not usually i mean look for those of you who are used to people scrutinizing every waking moment that you're alive <laughs> sorry i've got to laugh at my guides which would be me okay uh, i'm a sagittarius ascendant by the way um in case you hadn't already noticed me saying that 15,000 times and maybe you're new, I don't know. Um, this is going to be someone, <laughs> it's going to be a, a trait or a quality in you that you're not going to expect. So let's say, for example, if you like your food like me and you're used to being called fat every three minutes, that's not going to be the case because you're used to it. It's going to be, and if maybe you, you were the brown girl at school and you're used to hearing that kind of thing, it's not going to be that. It's going to be and excuse me if i'm offending anyone there when i'm being honest like that but um that's just the reality it's going to be something that you're very com or you thought you were very confident on and it's a test to see if you are actually confident with it right it's it could be something that you're very passionate about and <laughs> yeah it's like they want to see mm -hmm. someone is too focused on jumping to the next hurdle and that's why they're doing it someone's so focused on the end result and goal that then they're, they're missing a detail here spirit what else can you tell us here because i want to get to the bottom of this someone is also gonna want to discuss something with you and the way they're gonna do it is to trigger you because they don't know how to communicate that's another thing and they're going to utilize something that you would never expect for them to utilize and it could even be discussed publicly or maybe you're finding out that it's been discussed publicly but there's some truth coming in so someone could have discussed something that you told them in private that's about to come out that um is a bit of a deal breaker for you possibly right spirit what else please for sagittarius is from the first to the 15th what else is going on okay this is designed to block you from your again it's designed to get you in your ego and overthink it this is okay so we've got saturn return okay so and we've got age which again saturn return is 28 the first saturn return uh and i think the next one is like 48 or something saturn goes um as i say direct on the 10th and then we've got jupiter going direct on the 18th so i think before they progress you to the next change or movement you're going to be tested on how confident you really are about a situation um before your abundance is given because it could be that they want to make sure you're not going to like blow up <laughs> and you, <laughs> your blessings are handed over and you're like someone triggers you and you're like all over the place they want to make sure you're stable with it all right guys so hopefully that helps thank you for your likes your shares and your subscriptions it means a lot to me until next time take care